What's up guys? On today's edition of Trail Recon, we're taking a look at a $40 LED light bar made by Ant. Stay tuned. So we're doing another LED light bar review and today we're looking at a 24 inch LED light bar by Ant. And Ant sent me this and said, hey, will you do a review on it? I said, I'd be happy to. Same disclaimer, I gotta be able to be objective. They said, no problem, we'll ship it out to you. Well, we got it, here it is. This light bar sells for $40. So you gotta ask yourself, is it worth spending 40 bucks on a light bar? Well, let's take a closer look. In the box, you get uh, pretty straightforward, nothing fancy here. You got some foam packaging. And there's the light bar. Pull that bad boy out. Pretty heavy, pretty sturdy. We got our mounting hardware. And there's nothing else in the box, guys. That's pretty empty. There's no instructions, nothing like that. You're getting a budget bar here. With the light bar, I think this thing weighs, I'm gonna say six to seven pounds. It's pretty heavy, pretty sturdy, pretty durable. This is an aluminum housing. It's a combo light, so you've got eight floodlights on each side for a total of 16, and then you've got 24 spotlights in the middle. You can tell that there's a little bit different lenses in each, but the LEDs are pretty much the same in the back, so it's really just kind of the lens that makes the difference. Ant's got their engraving on here, which is, you know, that's pretty nice, but if you don't like having names on your products on your car, you can always flip it around and, and nothing on the other side. So that's up to you, that's a nice option. It's got a lot of fins for cooling the lens, is pretty solid. However, once again, uh, taking a look at the light bar, these screws are screwed right through the frame here and are sitting and resting on that light bar and you get those divots on the lens. And that, that's just not a design I like. Plus it also leaves a little gap. I mean, if I wanted to, I can you know stick a toothpick in between the lens and the frame where that screw is. That to me means there's gonna be water, dust, debris that might actually build up in there. Now, I think they've got a pretty good seal on the lens, so that may not be a problem, but that's a little bit concerning to me. The other thing I wanna point out on this is the paint is missing in a couple spots. It's almost like they sprayed it really quick and they kinda of just overshot a couple things. If you look right above the name under here, and I'll do a close up, you can see they missed it. And also, in the corners and the edges here, They've also missed it in the corners and the edges, which, you know, that's not very good. That to me talks about quality, but it's $40. You're not paying, you know, $500 for a light bar. This is rated at 120 watts. It is sold as a 24 inch light bar, but I want you to know this. This is not 24 inches long. The lens itself is just over 21 inches, and from end to end, it's just over 22 inches. Now when you add the mounts and you measure from one end of the mount to the other, that's when you get your 24 inches. So I, that was a little bothersome to me. You know, you're kind of misleading me a little bit because really this isn't a 24 inch light bar. It's really a 21 inch light bar. But other than that, I don't have any complaints. I think this is a good quality light bar for $40. I mean, you get what you pay for. You got the wire, there is no wire loom with this but it does come with a positive and negative connection. And you can pick up a wire loom online on Amazon for about 12 to 15 bucks. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it. I'll also leave a link in the description where you can find this light bar. It's pretty, pretty simple. I mean, there's a lot of light bars on the market that resemble this. Uh, I don't know if they're manufactured by the same folks and they just rebranded. That might be a possibility. Let's talk a little bit about the mounting hardware. got very solid metal mounts and you get two of those and they come with some nice rubber footings. The one thing I will say is the rubber footings are off. To get that to match up, you know, this isn't directly in the center, whereas this is directly in the center, so your pad's actually gonna be off, which is not a big deal, but you know, you got a little bit overlapped on one side and it's under the other side. Not a big deal, you still get nice rubber footing, but I'm paying attention to details here. I'm doing this for you all. All right, there she is, all is nice to set up. You can adjust, you know, up and down a little bit if you needed to. Put this on the Jeep, let's head out to the trail, and let's see what it looks like. 
Okay, just a quick shot about 10 feet from my garage door. This is the regular Jeep lights, and then this is the new light bar, and then I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the lights, and then you can kind of see what it looks like. Not as intense as I was kind of hoping for, but very diffuse. Okay, now out on the trail, go ahead and turn on the Jeep lights, and then I will turn on the light bar. And you can see that you get a pretty good white light. Let me turn off the regular Jeep lights and we'll go drive around for a little bit and I'm gonna throw the drone up and do some aerial shots. So you can just kind of take a look for yourself here. Okay, and with my budget Lux meter, we're getting about 80 Lux at about 50 feet. And just a little action shots, thought I'd do a little jumping jacks. Don't ask me why. And here we are at 100 feet, and the light has definitely decreased. Now we're at about 21 Lux. And yeah, let's do some more jumping jacks. Get some. That wraps up our review of the Ant 24 inch light bar. I want to thank Ant for sending us the light bar and allowing us to do this review. I think for $40, it's pretty good. I mean, you're going to get a good quality light. It's well designed. It's well built. For me personally, I'm going to pay a little bit extra more and get that quality and something I can depend on all the time because when we're out on the trail and we're doing a, you know, a couple overnighters and we're hitting the rocks, I want to make sure that that light works all the time and I get that view all the way down the trail. However, for the budget-minded folks, somebody that's not using it all the time, this might be a good option. So something you really want to think about. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this light bar and the wire loom if you need it. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along for the ride. We're always out doing adventures and filming the trails and we're doing other product reviews. If you're interested in that, we'd love to have you along. Until next time, we'll see you out on the trail.